Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use a keyboard shortcut to retrieve previous commands in your Python idle in order to avoid typing them again. So let's say, for example, you have um, a variable assignment a equals 10. And then you change your mind and say a equals 11. And then you change your mind again and say a equals 12. And now you want to go back to a equals 10. So instead of again typing a equals 10, you can just type alt P to get previous, Alt P to get the one before that, and Alt P to get the one even before that. And you can type Alt N to go to the next and so on. So that's a handy shortcut to have, avoids, uh, you know, helps you avoid typing the command all over again. But what if you're used to the up arrow and the down arrow? Okay, so in Unix, Linux, and Windows DOS, usually the up arrow will retrieve the previous command and the down arrow will retrieve the next command. If you want to change it to that, then you can you can do that here. Go to Options, Configure Idle, select the Keys tab, and within that, scroll down to History here, History Previous, and get new keys for selection. So here, instead of the Alt P, you can just choose whatever you want. If you want the up arrow, you can scroll down and click on the up arrow here, or you can choose, for example, Control and A, Control A, for example if that's what you prefer. And if you don't like that, you can clear it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna choose the up arrow here and uh, just click OK. And you can give it a name. Just uh, I'm gonna give it a simple name here. Just gonna give it my name. And when you do that, the previous keystroke combination is replaced with the one that you gave in the custom key set, whereas the old key set continues to remain. So the custom key set is the one that it will now apply uh, since you made a change to it and you can click apply and okay. And now if you go, if you press the up arrow, you'll actually go to the previous command. Now, if you press the down arrow, you can still modify that. Right now it's not yet modified, but you can modify it. Go to options, configure idle, and go to keys again, and make sure the use custom key set is selected and scroll down to history next and instead of whatever is currently there you can press the down arrow here and click ok and apply ok here and now the up arrow and the down arrow will work just the way you expect it to work if you are not satisfied with this if you want to go back to the original behavior you can always go configure idle go to keys and you can delete the custom key set or you can modify it any way you want so that's how you can make your idle environment a little bit more helpful to what you're trying to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And please do subscribe if you find this interesting.